Hey, Chuck here with Apple Drains. We had pretty good response to the top five YouTube channels, so we're going to post that again. You can find that information at the end of the video. So we're adding a sump basin to an existing line. You can see here's the old line coming in. Just dirt from us digging out the basin. Same thing here on this side. What we're going to do is pump this around and get this water out of this area. So we're setting up the pit to you know, adapt the four inch lines that are already existing. They're going to come into this basin. What we're doing is we're drilling a hole to line up to the four inch pipe on both sides. Once that's done, we can go ahead and set the pump in, plumb the pump, and send this water around to the front. Okay, so we've connected the outlet line also, just in case that line backs up, it'll come into the pit. You can see we're coming in, picking up the lanai and the downspout. We're almost set. Next, we're gonna put the check valve on here, come over, and we'll go through the side of the pit, hook up our inch and a half pipe. It'll go around to the side over here. comes all the way around it'll come over here and tie into the line right down here right here so we'll tie in down there and it'll pump it on out to the front that channel drain is nearly 80 feet long and the amount of water that it's trying to collect plus the roof coming down this the roof picks up over three-fourths you know three-fourths of the house and it's sending it down this line. So the sump pump can lift this up and send it around further and it'll actually keep up with the rainfall. Now we're drilling that two inch outlet for the discharge pipe. Remember that the two inch hole saw is the exact outer diameter of inch and a half pipe. Then finally you're just gonna go ahead and glue this up. Just glue it up good amount of glue can you smell it tells me we're almost to completion and it should line right up and it does just push and hold and this sump basin and sump pit is ready to go you know we're using you know the used one the used Zola m98 and the customer had this one and we're just going to use their pump it's going to work fine it looks dirty but it's brand new so no worries So you can kind of see our setup. Remember, we've, we're using the customer's uh, Zoller M98. It's brand new, it just looks dirty. We've got a check valve, comes up, the riser, 316 inch hole pressure relief, 90, comes through, we glued this tight, and we've got our discharge line. We're just finishing the trench. Line will come in right here. This is actually the old uh, four inch discharge that runs out to the front. So any water that gets, you know, from this line is also gonna come into the pit. The pump's just gonna lift it up. We're sending it further around the line because during big rains here, you know, along the coast, we get, you know, three, four inches, really, truly within 30, 40 minutes. I mean, it's tremendous amounts of water and the four inches at capacity so we can help that out by putting the pump in here and the pump will pump you know 90 gallons a minute so it should keep up with this without any problem and finally we'll go ahead and set our lid in place line it up snap it in twist it tight see it says lock lock it in place and then we'll tape this shut and line it up a little bit and it's perfect ready to go the last little bit of digging here just cleaning up the trench finishing you know where we're trenching once with once this is done we'll be able to lay this pipe glue up the couplings attach it to the existing line and we're done this entire install took about two hours two hours and 15 minutes this is a great project for the do-it-yourselfer, and you can definitely save some money. That Zoller M98, even though it's used, it's going to work fine, and it's going to keep up 
with the amount of water that's coming off of that roof and the patio. So now we're just putting on the couplings and yeah, you can smell that glue. Can you smell it? Can you smell that? It's powerful stuff. Remember to use, whoops, remember to use these deep couplings rather than the thin ones. They make a big difference. Nice. So again, you can see I just brought an extra, see how small this little coupling is? This is inch and a half, so is this. And this is a much better coupling for this application. Good amount of glue. You could do both pieces, but one is suffice. Perfect. We're gonna do the inside. Good amount of glue. And you just push it and twist it till it goes all the way on. That's perfect. But remember, this is us. This works, but this is much better. What this does is it gives us just a little bit of play. Whoops. Bit fell out. It gives us just a little bit of play in our turn for our pipe and these work really good probably one of the best inventions ever made for plumbing at least for vent you know waste plumbing perfect now we're ready to connect to the pipe we're connected to the main line and now it's time to backfill this job's pretty much done so we actually found another basin on that line and remember we connected that sump pump and we brought it around and tied it in right here line comes around sorry <laughs> line comes around <laughs> all the way back to that basin and we're in good shape hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day. Yeah, it's hot here in Florida. Okay, here's this week's top five drainage channels. They're not in any particular order, just channels that I think you guys would really enjoy to watch and you'll actually learn something. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.